Today I am going to show you how to make an adorable furry Highland cow cake and you might be thinking you've already shown us how to do this. You're right, but the video turned out very bad and it's my number one video so I wanted to remake it for you so that it's easy for you to understand. So follow along. Okay, I have already crumb coated my cake and got it out of the refrigerator. If you need to know how to crumb coat your cake and why we do it, you can check out the link right here. And I have a whole video just on crumb coating. But right now I am just going to put a nice solid coat of white all around my cake. I am just finishing up the final coat of buttercream, just pulling in my edges. And then I can stick this in the refrigerator while I make the decorations. I am using modeling chocolate today. And on my last video, I got a few questions about whether to use modeling chocolate or fondant. And this really can be personal preference, but with modeling chocolate, it can harden up, but if I warm it in my hands, it can get soft again. Whereas with fondant, once it is hard and dry, there's no going back, which can make it kind of challenging when placing these on the cake. So I prefer modeling chocolate. I have just colored this little ball with a little bit of black to get a gray color and my Second piece, I am just going to use some brown. And then in my third, I'm going to do brown as well, but a little less food coloring for a lighter shade. And then just a dot of tan for my horns and nose. I have gone ahead and rolled these out and now I am just cutting them into little pieces so that it's easier when I roll these out. But you are going to want help for this. So have a friend or three help you do this because it will take forever. Okay you guys, all of my hairs are done. It took forever there were four of us doing it and it took over an hour but now we get to move on to the other features i am just going to work on my horn so i already have two made here but i have a little cylinder of modeling chocolate that i just round out and bring to a point and then when i lay it out i just bring the one side up and then i would do the same thing on the other side really simple really easy and now these just get to sit to dry out just a little bit before we put them on our cake. And then to move on to our nose, I just took some modeling chocolate and pressed it out. And the nice thing about modeling chocolate is it's really easy to move and sculpt into any shape you'd like. So I just worked with it until I got that little rounded triangle shape. And then I can go back with my little sculpting tool and add the nostrils just really gently. And then once this is done, I haven't done it on this one yet, so I am just going to take a little toothpick and run this across my nose to make a little mouth. And then if you don't like anything or it's uneven, what's really nice is with the heat of my hand, I can just rub this out and it's like it was never even there. Now that these are done, I am just going to move them to a paper plate and then stick these in the refrigerator to chill while I move on to putting all of our hair on our little cow. Now that I have worked my way up to the top putting on my fur, I have just put toothpicks in the bottom of my horns I'm going to place these on top, on both sides, and then I have just some leftover modeling chocolate that I am going to take and put in the middle pretty gently, and then this I can smooth out so that I have something in the middle when I put my fur on top. And then I can work my way up 
laying my fur over the top. Now I am just going to take some cocoa powder and brush it on my nose and on the horns just to get kind of a more dirty look, make it look a little more rustic. And then I'll do the same thing to my horns, just brushing it on. It is time for my flowers. So I am just gonna take my scissors and cut pretty close to the base. And then I can take a toothpick and stick it through the middle gently so that when I push it into my cake, it has something to stick to. So I'm just gonna do this a few more times to the rest of my flowers. All right, you guys, here we have our really adorable Highland Cow Cake. I can guarantee you this video is much easier to understand than our last video. But if you enjoyed learning how to make this, make sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell so we can change the world one cake at a time. Bye.